Disclaimer lang po, itong video na to ay hindi sponsored at ang mga pinapakita ko po dito sa tutorial ay kung paano ko po i-edit ang mga videos ko. Paano nga ba mag-edit ng YouTube videos sa madali at simpleng paraan? But bagong lahat, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the notification button para lagi kayong updated. So, so ang ginagamit kong app is ang VLLO. Pwede mo siyang ma-download ng libre gamit ng iyong iOS or Android phone. So, step 1. How to add video. So, upon opening the app, click the create video button. Then, mapupunta ka sa album mo. So, choose all the videos or the pictures that you want to be edited. Then, click the arrow on the right upper quadrant, 16 by 9, and for the content mode, it's fill. Click again the right upper quadrant, and then, yun na. Pwede ka na mag-edit ng videos mo. Pwede mong i-rearrange ang mga videos mo by long press or dragging the videos according sa kung saan mo sila gustong i-position. So, ang next natin gagawin is ikakat or ititrim natin yung mga scenes na hindi mo gusto or hindi kaaya-aya sa paningin mo. Preview mo muna yung mga videos at i-take note kung saan part mo gustong ikat. Highlight the video na may scene na gusto mong ikat. Then, press cut or trim. Then, yung highlighted scene na nakat mo na. After nun, pindutin mo na yung delete button sa leftmost portion sa ibaba. Tuloy-tuloy lang hanggang makat mo na or matanggal mo na ang lahat ng scenes na ayaw. For adding filters, press filters sa rightmost lower portion. Then, lalabas itong purple thing. Gusto mo itong i-change, pindutin mo ulit yung filter sa left at ito na ang lalabas. Yung mga different filters na pwede mong gamitin sa videos mo. Okay, disclaimer lang po, hindi po lahat ng filters na nandiyan po ay magagamit nyo, especially if hindi mo na-purchase yung VLLO app. But then, most naman po sa mga filters na nandito ay may maganda naman pong quality. So kahit po hindi nyo siya bayaran, ay magagamit naman po nyo ng libre. So you can adjust the filter by dragging the circle on the leftmost portion or extending the filter by dragging the arrows on both sides. You can also adjust the filter mo manually by adjusting in different um, adjustment buttons such as your brightness, saturation, temperature, and etc. And then adjusting kung anong level ang gusto mo. Okay, next we have to insert the text. Press the text button sa pinakababang portion and then usually I use the simplest or default text. Okay, so you can type in the word you want to appear within your video. And then sa pinakababang portion, you're able to see the manual setting. Okay, so let's go back again to the manual setting and change the font. Okay, so usually I use the traveling typewriter font. And then for the font color, it's either black or white. I also add background to my text, which is a faint color pink. Okay, so if you're done, you can minimize or maximize your text. Move it or drag it within the area of the scene of the video na gusto mo mag-appear yung text mo. But at the same time, you can also extend the duration of the text within your video by dragging the arrow on both sides or within the end portion. So as you can see, there are many text options na makikita mo. Okay. But hindi lahat ay libre. You can also have add labels. So these are the different label options or label icons that you can use within your text or within your video. And then lastly, you can also add caption. 
So, disclaimer lang po. Um, some of it, you can use it for free. But then, if you want to use yung mga talagang magagandang um, label or caption, you have to download or to buy the VLLO app. Okay, so another example, I'm gonna put a certain title sa video ko. Okay, so I'm typing in rainy days. And then, I'm gonna adjust it sa center ng video. And then, adjust the opacity into 80%. You can also look or change the font. So, uh, basically, I like handwritten or the calligraphy type of fonts, which you can download manually. Okay. So, like this one. Then, pwede mo siyang lakihan or put it within the center or any area of the videos na gusto mo. Then, if satisfied ka na sa text mo, you can just adjust the arrow sa right portion so that you can adjust the duration of your text. So, as mentioned, you also have three options sa pinaka-leftmost portion if you press the text button. Okay. So, these are the label options that you can use. These are the caption options that you can use within your video. Basically, when I do subtitles or caption, I just use the simple or default text. Okay, for example, this one. I'm typing in good morning, guys. And then, I'm going to change the font to do the traveling typewriter. And then, the font color in white and add a pink background. Aside from it, I'm going to adjust the opacity to 80%. When you're done, okay, you can always drag the text sa bottom center portion ng video mo para magmukha itong subtitle or caption. You can also adjust the duration of your text by dragging in the right button and then, i-drag nyo to hanggang sa portion ng video nyo na gusto nyo mag-appear yung text nyo. Nakalimutan ko pa sabihin guys na pwede nyo i-mute yung mga video nyo if ever hindi nyo gusto yung background noise. Just highlight the video and then, Look for the mute button sa pinaka bottom portion ng mga options. And then, yun na. Mawawala na yung background noise sa video mo. Repeat the same process to all your videos na gusto nyong lagyan ng subtitle or caption. And then, wala. Okay na. May subtitle na kayo. Basically, I use two apps. Zinnia and then Canva. Starting off with the app Zinnia. Zinnia is a journal app that you can use or download for free. So, in this journal, I just use a black page for my slides or intro slides. You okay, just follow the arrow that I made and then you're able to see the different categories that you can use. For example, the stickers. All of the stickers, you can use them for free. Guys, you can use them for free. The only catch is that, hindi ka makakagawa ng more than 3 journals sa app na to. Unless babayaran mo siya. Which is kind of expensive for the app. But then again, magagamit mo ng libre lahat ng options dito. So, okay na. By the way guys, I'm also editing my video using an iPad only. Hindi laptop. Okay, so, um, I'm pretty sure that the Zinnia app is free for um, iOS and as well as Android users. Okay, so we're done with the stickers. Next is, we're going to use some borders. Okay, look at the borders to the frames. They're also for free. You can use them for free, guys. So, why not take advantage of this app? So, download it and then... Afterwards, you use the different categories na meron sila for your videos or for your intro slides. So, for my intro slide, I'm just gonna use a simple Gilda Geo frame. Okay. And then, adjust it. Parang slideshow or parang um, PowerPoint. And then, aside from it, I'm also gonna use some washi tapes aside. So, look at this washi tapes. These are also for free. So, 
Okay na guys, di ba? Pag dinownload mo siya, magagamit mo siya for countless times. Not bad, di ba? O, di ba? Download na. Download mo na yung zin niya. So, after this, I'm just gonna reposition the washi tapes that I want to apply sa intro slide ko. Okay, aside from it, you can also add text to your um, journal. So, for example, this one. Steps on how to edit a video. And then, aside from it, sa pinaka-bottom portion, you can see, you can see the different options or buttons for editing, like the font, the font size, the line spacing, as well as the color. You can all do that within this app. Okay, so adjust, maximize, or whatever you want. Kung anong gusto mo sa intro slide. And afterwards, you just have to take a screenshot. Okay, so then, go back and then go to your photos, look for the screenshot, and then afterwards, you edit it. So, when editing it, you just crop photo or the screenshot photo para magmukha itong um, intro slide. Okay, so if you're done, go back to VLLO and then press the plus button here or the PIP button sa baba. And then, yun na. Ando na siya sa VLLO. Masasama na sa pag-edit mo. Another option is the Canva. So, Canva is a free app that you can use. So, ang Canva, marami kang options or marami kang templates or designs na magagamit. But then, I just use or look for the YouTube channel Art Design and then use the blank design sa pinakataas na portion. I click the plus button, then I just add picture. So basically, kumagamit lang ako ng plain photo picture like this one. Okay, if you want to add more, you can do that. Then you can add text, like for example, this one, step two, for cutting or trimming unwanted scenes. Then you can look for a font. So, ang downside lang dito sa Canva is that hindi lahat ng font ay libre or magagamit mo ng libre. At then again, marami pa namang options na pwede mong gamitin dito. Then, if you're done, you can always adjust your text and then add stickers. Okay, so all of these stickers you can use also for free. Okay, so these are the stickers that you can use. Not all of them are free, but then, marami namang options. You can also add um, shapes and logos if you want to. Okay, so if you're done, you can always, always readjust again your photo. And then, save it. Save it as an image, and then, yun na. So, for adding music, you just click in. The music button sa leftmost bottom portion. As you can see, marami kang choices here na music na non-copyrighted. If you have a library of music from your iTunes, you can also use that. And then, if you have downloaded files, you can also click the file in the rightmost bottom portion. But then, you can always use the VLLO library for non-copyrighted music. So again, you can always drag it, you can adjust the duration of your music, you can adjust the music manually by pressing on the button sa pinakababang portion. So in here, you can always adjust the volume, you can mute it, you can fade in or fade out the music if you want to. And at the same time, you can also duplicate the music. You can also add some sound effects by pressing the sound effect button. And then, as you can see, all of these are for free. You can have a preview of the sound effect first before putting it in the video. And then, if you're good, pag nilagay mo na yung sound effect, pwede mo itong i-drag sa area ng video na gusto mo pag nilagay mo sa video. Okay, so for the sticker, click in the motion sticker button and you can see you have two options here, sticker and template. For the stickers, you have so many options that you can use it for free. Example, you're going to use this um, recording camera light sticker. 
press it and then adjust the duration kung hanggang kailan mo silang gustong mag-appear sa video mo. Aside from it, you can also use the template. So the templates, um, you can apply it within your video. So as you can see, we have many templates to choose from. So if you have already chose the template that you like, adjust the duration ng template kung hanggang kailan mo itong gustong gamitin sa video mo. So next will be the transition. So in adding the transition, you have to click the small box in between the pictures or videos and then magpa-pop up na yung mga different transitions na magagamit mo. So there's specific um, transition called as the graphic wherein marami kang choices na pagpipilian. Okay, so these are the example of the graphic transitions. As you can see, napakarami nila at libre mo silang magagamit. Aside from it, you can adjust the duration of the transition if how many seconds mo silang pwedeng gamitin. So in this part, I'm adding transitions to every videos or in between the videos. So simple lang naman silang gawin at pwede mo i-adjust ang kanilang time frame. Okay, next for adding photos or videos, just click in the PIP sa pinakababang button or the plus sign sa ibaba ng preview panel mo. So, upon doing this, mapupunta ka sa album mo of photos and videos. Then, just click in the photo or video na gusto mong i-add or isalpak sa video mo. For this tutorial, I'm adding a certain video on top of another video. Then, as you can see, I'm adjusting the opacity level ng video na pinatong ko dun sa video na isang na ginagawa ko. Aside from it, you can add fade in or fade out portion or aspect as well as you can flip the video according sa gusto mo. Aside from it, you can also um, put it within, above, or below the video. Depende sa gusto mo. Kung gusto mong ito ay nasa baba or nakapatong sa taas mismo ng video na ine-edit mo. You can also adjust the duration of the video na pinatong mo by clicking in the rightmost arrow and then drag it. So, yun lang yun guys. Hopefully, may na-learn kayo o may natutunan kayo sa tutorial video na to. At sana, makagawa kayo ng mga videos nyo using the VLLO kasi napaka-simple lang ng paggawa ng videos gamit ang app na to. That's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga latest videos ko. Thank you. Bye!